Oh, he was happy. He was a happy baby. He, uh, eager to learn. He was very eager to, eager to learn. He wanted to know how to read so bad. Um, he always said, what does that say? And what's that say? And then what's that say? Oh, man. Was he a happy child? He was a very happy child. Very, very, very happy. And he was, like I said, eager to learn. He loved bugs. I don't like bugs. Cash would chase me with bugs. And he thought it was funny. So Cash um, was more outspoken than Carter. Um, Cash was the leader. He was the one that showed Carter how to do everything.
Can you take me back to the morning of May 15th and tell me what happened and what you saw? Sure. I remember, um, I remember like it was yesterday, I was going out for a walk and I remember debating even going to walk that day. And I stepped outside and I thought it was a beautiful day. So I just said, I would go ahead and walk in the neighborhood. As I was walking up my street, turning onto another street, I remember seeing hair laying there. So my first thought was, I thought it was a dog. And I immediately called my mom and I say, hey, I think I see a dog laying in the middle of the street, but it's kind of weird because it's not moving. As I was talking to her, I'm walking. And as I'm walking, I see a hand and I told my mom, I say, mom, I think this is a person laid out in the middle of the street. I see a hand, I see a foot. And then as I got closer, I just started screaming and crying. I said, mama, this is a baby. This is a baby. He has no shirt on, no shoes, no socks. He has blood over his face. I'm just crying. So at that point, my mom was trying to calm me down because I was crying. She told me to call the police. Hang up for me, call the police. I called the police. I spoke with the paramedics. And the paramedics, um, they had to calm me down a bit. And they asked me if I could walk towards Cash just to see maybe if he's, you know, if, if he's conscious. And I remember looking at his poor body and I remember seeing ants on the bottom of his feet. And I remember telling the paramedics that, and it seemed shortly after I told them that um, the police was pulling up. Hello, my name is Trevor Gernon. I'm the father of Cash Gernon and Carter Gernon. I understand that all of you have questions and I would like to take a moment to address the public. First, let me say that I do not wish this nightmare on any parent. You have no idea how hard it has been for all of us or how hard it is to hold it together while everyone picks your family apart, family turning on another, all attention and time should be reserved for cash. I want to thank you all for being so compassionate and motivated for justice. It is comforting to know that so many of you feel this loss too. So I will start by clarifying my absence. I knew Monica for a good few years before moving to the Dallas area. She was a single parent like me, so naturally I would ask her advice on local things. At the end of February, beginning of March, Monica offered her home and help, which I was thankful for. Being a single dad with twin four-year-olds can be overwhelming from time to time. When I decided to move back to Houston after an un unsuccessful job hunt, amongst other things, I felt it was in the boys' best interest to not disrupt their routine. They were comfortable. They were around other kids, and from what it appeared, Monica was a trustworthy person. This choice I made with best of intentions has resulted in the most horrific outcome. I have paid the most ultimate and painful of price for my poor judgment, and I have to live with this devastation every single day. I will never forgive myself. If I could, I'd go back and do everything different. This is a nightmare that doesn't go away once I open my eyes in the morning. <clears throat> Sorry. We just don't understand how this can happen to such a bright and cheerful kid. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying. I understand how Mindy and Connie could be upset and want to do and say things to me because he was in my care. If it had happened in her care, I'd unfortunately feel she held responsibly too. When you have to process and comprehend such a violent tragedy, our grief blames others. It blames ourselves. M Mindy, I am so sorry that I failed to keep him safe. That is my job as a, as a dad. And I was not able to do that. <laughs> and I'm sorry.
to make matters worse, I have to fear for my freedom, as it is the goal of some to see me go to jail rather than grieve the loss of my little boy. All I want to do is have that one thing every parent deserves, to say goodbye and be with my son one last time before I return him home. <laughs> I wish I could give you all of the answers, but I don't have all of them. I'm barely getting through a day that doesn't take me to a dark place. I miss my son. I miss my kids. I hope you all can understand how fragile we all are and quickly and how quickly things can turn upside down. It makes you wish you spent more time. I'm sure that throughout this situation, there will be a lot of less than favorable things said and speculations towards everyone involved. I would hope that we can all cooperate and band together to make sure Cash gets the justice he deserves. He deserves to see us all united, the strong, loving family that we are. Thank you for all of your support and care, and thank you all for allowing me the opportunity to get my voice heard. 